In this video, we're going to see how we use the Maven tool itself. We're going to take some first steps to get us familiar with how we actually invoke Maven and work with it as a tool. And the best way of seeing how to do this is to actually create a project. So let's create a brand new Maven project. To do this, we're going to use the Maven archetype plugin and we're going to use its generate goal. So I'll explain what that means in a second, but first of all, let me create the project. So if we type Maven archetype generate, then Maven will basically go away and get all of the archetypes out of which it can create Maven projects. So an archetype in Maven is basically a template for a project um, consisting of various files and folders which can be copied across and token replaced and form the basis of the new project. So as you can see here, there are quite a lot of archetypes available. Um, there's 1,818. So that's a bit overwhelming from the outset to look at for an introductory video. So you can actually filter this list. So we're going to filter it with a command line switch. So if I just come out of that and clear the screen, then we can filter the list this time to just give the what I call the standard Maven archetypes. So in other words, those supplied by the Maven project itself. So like the out of the box ones, if you will. So if we type Maven archetype uh, generate again, and this time with a, a minus D switch, whenever you want to pass um, switches to Maven, you pass them with a minus D. So it's just like passing a standard Java system property in that respect. So minus D filter equals, and then this is going to be the so-called group ID of the archetypes that we want to filter on. So this is org .apache .maven archetypes, And to tell Maven that we're filtering on a group ID, we put a colon afterwards. Whenever you are referring to artifacts in Maven, you have three constituent parts to the artifact. You have a group ID, an artifact ID, and a version. We'll cover more of this later on, but basically, uh, typically these are separated by colons when they become parameters to certain commands. So if we just hit enter there, this should filter us down to a much more manageable list. And that's a lot better. Yeah, we have 12 to choose from, uh, which is much better. But either way, whether we get the large list or whether we get the small filtered list, you'll find that the Maven system defaults to what's known as the quick start archetype, which is the most basic archetype that Maven offers to start a project out of. So if we select number nine as the default, um, it's asking us which version we want to use. So we're just going to use the latest version. So it defaults there already to number six, which is version 1.1, which is the latest version of that particular um, archetype. Next, we define a value for our group ID of the project. So here we're just going to create a group ID of com.zension.training.demo. The artifact ID is the name of the artifact we're going to create. So let's just create an artifact called my app. And the version will leave this at 10 snapshot. This is fine for now. And finally, the package will leave the package as the same as well for now. So if you say yes to all that, it shows you the settings it's going to build the project from. So just say yes. And there you have it. It's created you a new project named out of the artifact ID that you specified called my app. And that's available for further development. So we'll check out what's in there in subsequent videos and get starting developing. But that's how you create a project in Maven with Maven archetypes.